So this video is a little reintroduction to yourself um, and how your foot pressures uh, actually take the weight of your body through the floor. So it gives us a really good idea of the compensations you're making from the head down and how that affects these, these dials down in our feet. So, if you would like, just take your feet underneath your hips. And that's just going to exaggerate everything that you feel. Quite often if we put our feet out, we're not so aware um, of what's actually going on. Whereas we bring them in and it magnifies all the little bits. So from there, close your eyes. Uh, with your eyes closed, we cut out some of the visual input so we can focus on the feeling. Now with your eyes closed, just take a broad overview of your feet. Uh, and I want you just to notice where your weight is. Is it more in the left leg? Is it more in the right leg? And then once you've got a, a feeling for that, I want you to dial in on just the right leg. And notice if the weight is slightly forwards in the forefoot or more backwards in the rear foot. And when you've got that, then we're going to go, is it more on the outside of the foot or more on the inside of the foot? Or can you feel your big toe planted on the floor? Does it feel like there's a bit of air under there? Back of the heel, does it feel more on the inside or more on the outside? And when you've got that, we're going to go to the other leg. Exactly the same thing. Is the weight more in the forefoot? Is it more in the rear foot? More on the outside? More on the inside? And based around that, that's going to give us 95% of the time a really good idea of what's going further up the channel. So, here we go. If your weight is more in your forefeet, you have to have something forwards to allow that to happen. So, some of the options, pregnancy can keep your weight forwards. There's another compensation where you tuck back under, but on the whole that weight will bring you more into your forefeet. Uh, then we could have a forwards head posture. It brings you further forwards as if you're just about to go on to tiptoes. And we've got weight in the heels, anything that brings you slightly further back will put your weight in the heels. Or if you tuck your pelvis under, that'll bring your weight back in the heels. Um, so anything travelling backwards, weight goes backwards. And the way we can test for this is just very gently perturbate, which means give you a little nudge. So if I nudge you backwards and you hold your ground really well, it probably means that most of your weight is forwards and you've got a bit of wiggle room before you go to that balance point. If your weight's already forwards and I push them behind, so you've got nowhere to go and you go straight forwards. Then, if we have more of our weight to the outside, so in me it would be more of my weight on the outside of the left foot, inside of the right foot. And again, this is something moving that way, normally around this hip mark, maybe an ankle, something like that. Actually, sometimes a collarbone as well can do the same thing. And vice versa the other way. Then we get to the interesting one in rotation. So if you felt more weight in the back of your foot and then more weight in the front on the other foot, usually mean it's given us some kind of rotation. So to feel that for yourself, all you do is dial into your feet, eyes closed, rotate your pelvis to the left, and you should feel more weight going into the front of the right foot and possibly more weight going into the heel of the left foot. So that's how we dial into foot pressures. Uh, if you want to do a, a cheat, uh, at a Gary Ward's poor man's foot scan, you can get pieces of paper, four slips, under the ball of the big toe, ball of the little toe, outside of the heel, inside of the heel. Do it on both legs. Stand there normally without gripping your feet, and then get someone to pull on the pieces of paper. The ones where they come out really easily are normally the ones where you haven't got that much foot pressure through.